Let me just check to make sure the camera's going. You guys should be used to this by now. Okay. Well, good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, and I wanted to do, um, well, kind of a haul slash follow-up on some of the products that I've been using. I, let's see, what should I start out with? Um, I purchased this Revlon Colorstay Eyeshadow Quad at Walmart when I was there on Monday and it's a 12 hour eyeshadow in 02 coffee bean and I have no idea what I paid for it I don't remember excuse me but these are the colors and it's what I have on today I have this on the lid this in the crease and then this in the crease also and under my eye so that's what it looks like and I've been doing more of a smoky eye with it but today I thought I'd do something a little different and so I'm enjoying that <clears throat> like I say I don't remember what it was I also have on the Rimmel Scandal Eyes and I'm really enjoying this mascara um, it comes in extreme black and they showed the brush on the package and the brush is very large but it isn't as big as they showed on the package so that is the brush size whoops as it's rolling on the floor so there's the brush and um, it's really new so I've only used it for a few days but I really am enjoying it it separates it lengthens um, the only thing is I find that if I'm not careful I can ding it up onto my eyelid and then you know you have a little bit of a mess but no big deal so again it's the Rimmel Scandal Eyes which I'm enjoying liking that I don't get any irritation from it um, I purchased two baby lips and they had very limited selections in color so I got the peach which is a uh, very light I mean it gives just a slight peach color uh, very moisturizing and it smells like peach it has no flavor to it and then I got the grape and at first the first time I put this on I was like oh man that stinks but I've gotten used to it so now I don't mind it as much and the fragrance does not last very long that's the color of the grape and I know you guys have seen these all before but they were a new purchase for me so there's the grape it really uh, doesn't give any color or very little my lips oh my lips have a lot of pigment to them anyway so it just kind of enhances that and like I say I'm enjoying these I just stick it in the pocket one in the pocket in the apron at work and I can pull it out and put it on and not have to worry about <clears throat> you know getting gloss or lipstick or whatever outside the lip line I could just put it on and not worry and I really like that I changed out my nail polish um, I had the passionate pink I think is what it was called the Revlon color stay and unfortunately that color only lasted yesterday I had some major pieces peel off which was Wednesday and when did I put it on Monday or Tuesday so that really only lasted a couple of days so this time I put on the pale cashmere as my first coat and I should have put two coats on first because it is really streaky that's number 20020 and then on top of that I put the calla lily and Tiffany D had talked about this in one of her videos and I really like this it is a sheer white polish and it has gold reflex in it very small and I so I ended up putting one coat on of the pink the light pink and then I had to put two coats of this on um, really pretty I really like the effect I hope it lasts longer than um, 
the pink did, the hot pink did, and I don't know, my camera doesn't show a lot of detail, but you may be able to see all the mess around my cuticles, and that's because I don't do nails. And it, once again, I used my OPI Matte Nail Envy as my base coat, and the Sashvit Dry Fast Top Coat, and this really does dry fast. It allows your polish to dry very quickly. I did my nails and an hour later I had washed my face and applied all my face products and went to bed and I woke up and there were no dings or um, problems with my polish. So that works really well. I'm sorry my nose is running as always. Um, next thing is the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow. I am really enjoying this. Um, it looks scary in the pan. It's just a neutral brown. There isn't a lot of red to it. There isn't a lot of gold to it. And then the, um, the light color is just a beautiful um, kind of vanilla color. There's a slight sheen to it. This is what it looks like on the puff. So it does look scary, but I've been using this every day all over my face and then down my neck and into my decollete. And um, it is definitely buildable. I would even say probably for somebody with pretty fair skin, I think that you're probably okay with this. Uh, because while it looks really dark, it doesn't go on really dark. And I really, oh, there are my eyes watering. That's probably why my nose is running. Ah, go figure. But I am really enjoying this. It was $45 on QVC. Very happy that I purchased it. I love the glow that it gives to my skin. <clears throat> it isn't heavy. It gives a real silky finish. It it just gives a nice glow. It's not, <coughs> excuse me, shimmery or glittery and really happy with it. So I've been messing around with my BB cream, my Garnier BB cream. I have ordered two more off of eBay. One is, um, what is it, Skin 79. Um... I don't remember exactly what it was, but when it comes in, I will definitely do a video and show you guys. And then I just ordered the Misha Be Perfect um, BB Cream in number 23. Kimmy had sent me a sample in 21, which is too light, so I'm hoping the 23 will be okay. We'll just have to see. So I have been using this in the light medium, and I thought, you know what, I think it's a little too light for me. So... I opened up the medium deep and I wore this yesterday and I have it on today and I think that this color is better for me and I have um, a MAC foundation and it's a um, W25 I think it is um, so that is my color in that MAC foundation oh and then I just put this over those lip glosses so that that's interesting but this is the light medium and the medium deep and let me just transfer this over to my other hand so here's the medium deep and the light medium you can see by these swatches how much better the medium deep blends with my skin um, and how much lighter that one is. Although I suppose I could use my concealer, put a little of the lighter one under my eyes and maybe on my eyelids and then put the medium deep over the rest. So maybe I'll experiment with that. And um, so I think that the light one is a little too light for me. So I'm going to send it to my daughter because her skin is quite fair. Her skin, um, although she does tan sometimes and she gets dark. I mean, she like I do, I tan quite easily. I never tan my face. But um, her skin is 
paler and definitely more of a pink cast than mine. If you see pictures of us side by side, my skin looks yellow compared to hers. And actually, I consider my skin tone more of a neutral. Um, but So I am enjoying the BB creams, and I'm enjoying my body frosting, and the baby lips, the mascara, everything that I've purchased recently I'm using and I am enjoying. So I hope that helps you out. Um, let's see. Anything else? Oh, my glasses. I ordered another pair today. So I got another pair of tortoise shell. I did get them smaller though so that they're more comparable to my Ray-Bans in size but they are tortoise shell and they are a more expensive pair. The frames were, I believe, $23.95. So they actually have the metal that extends out from the hinge, and it has the metal um, bar or wire that goes through the bow. And uh, so that they're more adjustable and will be a little more stable. And they aren't quite as big. If you can see here, you can see how long the, the bow is on me. And so it's a little too big, but for my backup pair, that's okay. So for my second pair, I did not order the um, the clip-ons, and with the frames, $24, the lens is $39. I got the anti-glare again. Coating, that's $5. And with shipping, it came to $72 something. So really a good good place to get glasses. Um, I'm really happy with the ones that I have and I'm looking forward to getting my new pair. So once those come in, of course, I will do a video and share that with you guys. So thanks so much for watching and I have a little um, craft haul from Walmart from Monday when I went on Monday that I wanted to share with you. It's nothing big, but um, yeah. So thanks so much for watching and I'll just talk to you soon like in two minutes. Bye.